Hey everyone, welcome to the Curious Girl Diaries podcast. I'm Layla London, aka The Curious Girl. Now just to let you know, this podcast is not suitable for work. It's also not suitable for anybody under 18. But the rest of you consenting adults, let's get ready to talk about my sex life, sex in general, and everything in between in explicit, raunchy, fun detail. All right, here we go. It's hard to get to that point. And it's equally hard as a man is to figure out how to how to guide her into that space. It's 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 messy. It's kind of messy. And I but I'm okay with that. I just don't know if that's normal. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let you say it. Collar. Yes. The C word. What does it mean? Fuck. What does it what does mean? It go? What does it do? What does it mean? Where am I at? Hello, everyone. All right. Well, it's our third. I think this should be about our third podcast. I'm not sure how it's going to break down because (laughs) Sir Inc. and I have been doing a lot of podcasts, but this is kind of a carryover. This is the last little bit of our most, most recent stuff that we haven't completely gotten through. But you know what? Before I start into that, what I really would like to do is, number one, is just say thank you to you so much for your time. And I always, and just let you know how much I enjoy talking to you. Like, I seriously will go, you know, I'll have these things come up and and I'm always like, well, what would he think about this? And I've got to ask him about this. So, you know, these podcasts for me, while I know that for my listeners, they're informational and hopefully informative as well, but they're therapeutic for me. So... Thank you so much. Oh, you know, the feeling is mutual and um, it is great to get a female's perspective. I know. On, uh, on, on the lifestyle too. So you can kind of get a, uh, so as for a dominant or a man seeking a submissive woman, we'll kind of know what some things that, you know, a career woman or, you know, more of an alpha female, some of the challenges that they may deal with. So, um, it, no, it's, it's, it's great. I love the conversation, and we're talking about collars. Wait, oh, okay, hold on. You oh. just, that's a, that's a, yes, you, that's a little, um, a spoiler alert. Yes, we're going to get to that. We're going to spoil it. <laughs> Don't do worry. Oh, sorry. You know what, sweetheart? You can never spoil anything. That's <laughs> just, that's just where we're, that's where we're going. But, as you just said, and why we, why you and I, I think vibe off each other so well and enjoy talking to each other. I think that this one particular person who wrote in, I want to, is going to appreciate both perspectives. So, um, this is her name is Kara and she sent me an email directly to my site and she's just asking, I'll read it to you. Um, Mm -hmm. but what I really want to do is give her, I think this is going to be, um, a benefit to her is to give her both sides of the coin. So I'll give her my side and you give her your side. But um, I'm going to start out by reading her, just her, you know, her comment to me. And so the, here, here's what she says. She says, hi, Layla, I just found your journey. And I was wondering if you had any advice for me. My story is similar to yours. I've been celibate for a long time. And I've thought about embracing more sexual aspects of myself again, mostly learning and experiencing more BDSM qualities. However, what I have found is that I'm scared and unsure how to take those next steps. I've been hiding behind an NSF blog for years, and I'm not sure to get out from behind it. I'm in a unique position to redefine myself right now, and I think embracing my sexuality while taking on new goals is a place I want to be in. I'm really confident outside of the bedroom, but inside it, I'm not. Hoping you have any words of wisdom for a woman looking to explore. Best, Kara. Okay, Kara. Well, you know what? I'm going to, I'm actually going to just let the, let's get the masculine side of this perspective first, and then I will, you know, kind of jump in. So, I mean, that was loaded, right? I mean, yeah. she says she's been celibate for a minute. Um, so, I don't know. She just has to, you know, it's, it's like jumping in the pool. 
she has to just jump in. Now, I know she wants to get in, get into fetishes and, you know, some of those things. I think she needs to just relate, get to know somebody first and then, you know, ease her way into not casual sex, but like regular sex and then get into a little bit more deeper things as she goes. She has to build the trust first. So, you know, I wouldn't, um, when I say dive into the pool, I don't mean um, foolishly. Um, but, you know, when it comes to just interacting with people, she needs to just get in there and get that that feel. Um, yeah. And it's a feeling that you get when, you, when, you're with, when you're with different people, the different energy. We talked about that before, about energy. So, and she'll know she'll know she'll she'll have that feeling of trust with the right one. Yes. Yeah. So um, you know, I think you know, Kara's kind of relating to my story, which is, you know, just really being uh a working female and sort of putting your sexuality kind of to the side a bit and then sort of mm-hmm. all of a sudden one day you pop your head up and you're like well holy shit what have I done and um, and I don't know she didn't, I don't know I don't know Kara how long you've been celibate but I'll let me say let me just jump in and kind of comment on on that first and foremost is that I think what people don't realize is when they get in that mode and I'm so guilty of it and I've been so guilty of it. And I, sometimes I still find myself like drifting in that direction, you know, or, or that old habit still there. It's just that you, you put certain things, you make certain things a priority. And for some reason, um, and I don't know if it's a female thing. I, I, you know, maybe my, I don't think men do this, but you know, maybe it's a female thing. Is we we get so when we're goal driven, there's a part of us that sort of turns off that, um, I don't know that feminine side, that sexual side. We we start forsaking certain parts of ourselves, and for me, it was the it was the sexual side. I, I don't know why, but you know, I did. But what, but what I realized by switching that coming back onto that was that how important that really is. I mean that, you know, that's part of, that's the who of who you are as a woman. And so turning that off is really a huge disservice more so than you realize. And, you know, if you're a bit, if you're a businesswoman, actually, you know, if you can get that sexual energy going again I think it's going to make you even more, it's going to make your female prowess in the business world even more strong, you know? And so, you know, I'm just, Kara, turn it back on, you know, just don't, don't let that fall by the wayside. That's something that's a big part of yourself that you can, when that light is on, it also serves purposes in the business world where you can kind of direct that energy and make it, you know, it, qualify it and quantify it actually quantify it in a way that's business related so kind of like let's pull yourself out of that rut let's get you back into that um you also said that she also said that she's um you know learning and experiencing more bdsm qualities yes go for that explore that and you know i think she said she said an nsf blog um and so i'm assuming that I don't know. I haven't seen the blog, but I'm assuming that, you know, it's probably like my Tumblr blog, right? Or a lot of the Mm -hmm. blogs we see out there. And um, you're expressing your fantasies and your desires. And, you know, if you're drawn to that stuff, you should do it. Now, finding somebody to really kind of um, help you. I don't know if you're into the, you know, you did, she did mention the BDSM, but if, you know, I'll say this, it's, and you know this too, right? It's hard to find some, it's hard. There's a lot of posers out there. So especially for a woman, like, you know, you're kind of like all of a sudden you go, okay, I'm sort of at the, I'm, I'm kind of at the 101 level with the BDSM stuff. I'm just a basic newbie beginner. And where do I go to find all these great resources? Well, you know, Kara, you can go to, um, I know there's, you know, like um, King Space, right? King Space. Right. Yeah, absolutely. King yep. Space. King Space. And then um, you've already, she's already, I'm, I'm kind of assuming she came to me via Tumblr, but there's Tumblr, you know, but um, 
but you know you need to get out there and um, really start getting into some of these more lifestyle focused sites and to find maybe some way that can lead you in that right direction but also you know with a with a grain of salt too right because there's a lot of you know posers out there and I'll, um also you know if you go to Sir Inc's I think too, you know, a great resource is, you know, go to Sir Inc.'s Facebook page and, you know, and you'll find, um, and that's, that's just Sir Inc., right? S-I-R-I-N-Q. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You can go there and, and just, you know, you'll kind of start again, finding like-minded people. And I think that's, that's important, but, um, you know, you can take that confidence, you know, she was saying she's confident outside of the bedroom. You can take that confidence that you have outside of the bedroom and, and harness it in that direction or, or not. I mean, here's the beauty of, of where you're the crossroads that you're at Kara is that you can take that, I guess, unknowing or, you know, uncertainty and kind of put that, if you find a good dominant, put that in his hand and let him guide you. Isn't that the fun part? That is the key. I mean, wouldn't you like to, I mean, really now, Finding someone like, like finding someone like a Kara, right? Who's this like unformed raw piece of clay? Like, wouldn't you love to get your hands on her? Absolutely. That can. But before, yeah, I, of course, it seems like that would be every uh, dominant. I mean, in a good way, not like in an abusive <laughs> no, way, but no, just like, no, so, no, no, yeah. No, 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 in a very good way. The thing is, it would um, you would have to see. So you know, we're going to talk about vetting. So if I'm her, um, as you said, she needs to learn some resources, mm-hmm. and the resources that she's finding, I would say she needs to find herself. Too many, too many new selves are focused on the dominant. You need to focus on your own submission because it's a humbling of yourself. That's what makes the relate. That's what's going to make the relationship work. Because, as you said, you can still be all that outside the outside the bedroom, but inside the house, inside the bedroom, you give it all up so you can relax. Yes. You know, like you being on, you know, just being intense. I don't think we realize how intense we are as a culture. And you know this, like when you go, when you travel to different places, outside the country, especially in the tropics. Yeah. They, they, they just be like, relax, you know. And, yeah. And I'm, I'm, and I'm, I'm what I consider to be relaxed. And they're like, nah. Yeah, Here, <laughs> There's a whole a nother drink. level. Here, have a drink. Yeah. There's some, yeah. Girl, there's some girls around here. Like, yeah. relax. Yeah. And then you realize, you know, without even saying words, your energy, right? Mm-hmm. And so... The, one of the toughest challenges for submissive women that are aggressive in the workforce or just, you know, they're just aggressive women, um, you know, by nature. Um, the, the hardest challenge is going to be to switch it off. Yes. And it takes time. It, it's not a, it's not going to be, don't you know, if you make a mistake, don't feel like it's the end of the world. Don't feel like you're not worthy or something. You know, this is it's something that you really have to work on. It's not easy. Yeah. And the dominant is supposed to help provide some lessons to help you see how great you really are and the fact that you can really do that. But that has to be something like, to me, a submissive has to absolutely want to relinquish control. Like when I see these, like when I see submissive men with, you know, um, dominant dominatrix. I'm like, your dude completely gave up. You know, he gave up all yeah. everything, humility. Every he gave up everything. Yeah. You know, some of the stuff that. So I'm like, that's that's a, you know that's submission is giving up. Now I mean, there are some women, 100 percent, absolutely more than that. You know, just get themselves. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, but um. It's hard to get to that point, and it's equally hard as a as a as a man is to figure out how to how to guide her into that space. 
Because I might not, you know, I might not be the guy that can get you all the way where you want to go, but I might be able to start you off. You yeah. Know? And so, so a lot of times too, and we talked about this lastly, is that she needs to think about: is she a cancer, or do she really want to be in a, in, in a submissive? Because a submissive, mm-hmm. they will have some levels of kink stuff with it. A submissive first is about the relationship. And that's different. It's, it's the relationship with herself first, and then it's the relationship she'll have with the dominant. And that's the part that they have, people come to a crossroads. What do you want to do? And for doms too, you get to a point like, do I want the freaky stuff? Or do I really want to really live this life? Ah, that's, yes. No, I mean, seriously, that's kind of, yes. I, You know, what I wrote down when you were talking, I said, focus on your submission. I wrote that down and circled it. Or focus on your own submission. And 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 for, I'm just, you know, for me, because it's this constantly kind of unfolding new thing. Um, yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm just, it's, I, I, you know what, I feel like every, at every point I'm at this crossroads with it. And I push to a new level and I push to a new level, but I'm still kind of, you know, a bit, I don't know, I guess the right word, I don't, I mean, I want to say insecure, uncertain about it. And it's not, it's, it's just stuff coming from me, you know, like, because this is so new and it's, it, even though I've been doing it for a while, every new every new layer, it's like shit, holy shit. You know, it feels so raw every time. And you know, and it's and I keep going with it. So, you know, I'm I'm I'll give myself a little bit of a pat on the back for that. But it it just it's it's almost like being a kid again and relearning, you know, these parts of yourself and, and it's um it's kinda scary. It's a little scary. Yeah. So I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you why, and I'm thinking about this as you're as you're talking. Okay. Uh, really, really, what it is, if you think about humiliation, right, in BDSM, people put the pig noses on and write all over them, and yeah. write crazy stuff. You know, I'm on, she's a whore. She's yeah. Not comes to, you know all that yeah. type of stuff. Yeah. You know, shame and humiliation is an ultimate ego crusher. Mm-hmm. And people that can really go egoless can really thrive in this kind of um, relationship. But the battle that we have, and I told you as a culture, as Americans, because we're aggressive and we're more about uh, individual accomplishment, that we all come to the table with that ego. And so we all had to kind of take a step back off of that, or we can ruin everything. And so for submissive, especially, she has to give up all that being in charge, wanting to be in control, wanting to know what comes next, wanting to know this, wanting to know that, trying to trying to force the situation or trying to steer things that way, you know, all that kind of stuff. You know, they got to be ready to just give it all up and then be like okay when I'm with him I'm on his time mm-hmm. period yeah what, what, you know whatever he wants to do and it doesn't mean and, and not many men want to be that much of a control freak but they most men will do what, whatever the woman wants to do whatever brings that woman pleasure anyway when they're together but um he needs the right to veto that at any point and change his plan up without it being a problem. Yes. You know, if yeah. I change the plan, yeah. don't ask me why. Just go with it. Yeah. No, I know. Just I go mean, with it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know. I, I. This is what I find myself doing. I find myself like, you know, I, I, I find myself like, I question, I battle with it. You know, I probably get bratty, difficult, and then, and then I get pushed to another level, and I'm like, okay, and it's like this, oh, you know, like this release, and then now that I'm in the new level, it's like, 
I get difficult, I get bratty, and I really, every, you know what I mean? Like every new milestone is like, it's a bit of a struggle. And then I get, you know, and then I, I get pushed past it and, um, I'm doing, you know, I'm, I mean, I'm doing what I need to do and then, you know, he's doing what he needs to do, but it, it, I do, I do move on from it, but it's not seamless. And I don't know if that's normal. You know, I feel like, remember, I think I said in our last, you know, talk, I was saying it's, it's, it's messy. It's kind of messy. And I, but I'm okay with that. I just don't know if that's normal. I don't know. You know, I mean, I'm like, my process is a little bit messy, I guess. You know, I have to, I have to be kind of messy about it and then I'm like okay and then I and then I just sort of relinquish I let go of that and relinquish it you know but it's not it's not just this just natural state I'm I'm moving towards a nat you know that that it feels natural once I hit a new level but getting there is kind of messy, you know, for me to get there. And so, you know, I don't know. I'm not sure what to make of that. I don't know, you know, I don't, again, I don't have any, you know, I don't know what to think about that. But it's it's moving forward, and and I'm getting more. I know that I know that I'm a different. Here's what I here's what it's interesting about me that I've noticed is that with a lot like. In, in, in other relationships, let's say vanilla relationships, you're having a disagreement and, and, and somebody's, you know, you know, when you're having a disagreement with someone, you're kind of going toe to toe and that some, everybody, somebody's raising the energy level. I, in a normal, I guess, dynamic, a normal dynamic, I might, I might match or raise the, the energy level. But in, you know, in sort of a more of a dominant submissive dynamic, I'm actually, I don't, I don't, I don't want to raise the energy level. I want to, if he's raising the energy level, I really want to, I'm like, I'm zeroing in on it. Like, I want to know what, what this is all about. And I'm paying attention and I don't, I have zero desire at that point to argue, disagree, anything. I'm just kind of, I'm really in listening mode because I want to understand him better. Like that's really like the, that, that's more important to me than being right, than, you know, you know, like standing up for myself. I mean, not that, you know, there's, I mean, you know, not that I'm being diminished or anything, you know, but just like, you know, like in a typical kind of scenario, I'm like, I don't really care to even express my point of view on this. I'm more interested in in like what he's putting out. And I, I don't want to say anything because I want him to keep putting it out so I can take all that information in and, and, and learn and understand, you know, does that make sense? It makes perfect sense. Yeah, yeah. It makes perfect sense. It makes perfect sense. Because if he's taking this time to make a point, I mean, like, you know, if he, if like, if all of a sudden he goes to a certain level and he's like, this, you know, like, I know that's important to him. I'm like, whoa, wait a minute. Whoosh, my focus is just boom on him. And I'm like, mm-hmm. mm, this is like gold here. I'm not going to miss out on this opportunity to hear him. By arguing, you know what I mean? By arguing or distracting or trying to, or trying to say, well, I'm this and you, you know, I don't, I don't want to have an argument at that moment. I would just want to like zero in on what he's putting out so that I can learn from it and understand him better and understand how to better interact with him. That's the whole point. That's, there you go. Ladies and gentlemen. There it is. Is that it? There it is. I'm going to listen. Ding, ding, so ding. understand how to relate to him better. Yeah. Do, am I getting a gold star? 
you get, you, you were, you, you know what? By the time we in this day and night, you probably gonna have five gold stars. Oh, I love it. Yes. I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you two right there, at least two. Yes. My God, I'm ready to get up and clap. Yeah. Well, that. I mean, because you know. Yes. Uh, I mean, let's not, let's not, I'm not going to play here because I am about, you know, I am about, if you put me like competitive, I'm, I'm, I'm competitive, right? So. But there's two different kind of, there's, there's, there's no. different kind of people. Yeah. Right. So then you have people who, who want to be, who want to listen and understand who that person is. And there's another person that wants to tell you. Yeah. Everybody tells you this story. Mm-hmm. Some people's story is just dominating the whole interaction between you and them. Never been in a relationship where the other person just sucks the air out of the relationship. Like uh-huh. you just so much of yourself, you can't yeah. even you can't even hear my song playing. Your song is just you got the beats up, the windows down, bass yeah. all up. You can't even hear. Oh, yo, I'm here. I got my song on too. You can turn yours down a little bit. Like yeah. this, this to me, this is. At least in my interactions with people, I've realized that this is what it is. Some people are very fair in relationships where so they want to get to know you. They want peace. And then you got people who are just like, I really don't want you to see how fucking crazy I am. <laughs> so I'm going to make some problems over yeah. here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Make some yeah. problems over there. Yeah. Because it's all distractions. Yeah. Because they really don't want to deal with who they are, you know, straight up. That's why they always got to suck the air out of the shit. Yeah. So, you know, so for a person to put themselves in a situation, even dominance, that's the thing about being a dominant. Like, you have to really, if you have someone that you really like, you really care for, you're going to invest a lot of energy into her, you know, listening, trying to understand her, actually making plans for her behavior, you know, behavior changing plans. Like, that's a whole. That's how you, how I want to see you in my life. You know, how I want you to be with me. How I want you to yeah. serve me. How, and how can I serve you? You know, I know to get the best of you, I got to give you what you need first. You got to get, you have to get what you need first in order to serve me. Yes. Period. Yeah. You know, the, the waitress don't serve good on the, on the empty stomach. Yeah. You know? Uh-huh. <laughs> you know, yeah. so... You gotta make sure I, she's fed and then she can serve me. Yeah. Well, you know what? I, you know what? I love what you just said about like this, just playing, you know, I'm playing my song. Is she, you know, like listening or is she trying to turn it up and play her song? But that's, that's what I've noticed for me personally is the difference is that for the first time, I'm not trying to. You know, it used to be the Layla show. Like, this mm-hmm. is the, you know, it's like, da, 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 you know, if you're not paying, yeah, yeah, I'll listen to you a little bit, but you got to be paying attention to me, 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 me. And now I'm really, I could, I'm, I have zero interest in um, pushing, you know, like my point of view per se. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm like, when the opportunity strikes, Right. And sometimes it comes, like I said, in a messy way, right? In a moment where you think your ego would be flaring up or whatever. I'm just more like, I'm so interested in the other, you know, the the song that's playing from someone else, you know, and I'm like, let me listen to this. Absolutely. This is what I'm, I'm more interested in. I have more interest in knowing the lyrics of that song than I even give two shits about, you know, playing my own song. But another thing about that too is, it's just that you finally met someone that, that interesting, and instead of you carrying on and and you know and, and and going at them the same way you did others, you would have blown that. You would have blown it. But yeah. you finally, you, but you met somebody after a while. It's like, oh wow, you're very different. Oh, I'm just saying what, what, what this is about. And yeah. it's the same for dudes. Like, it's a bunch of oh, I'm so, this is okay, break yourself, 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 yourself. Let me see. Okay, okay, okay. And then you meet one that's like, oh, you're different. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're real, you real different. I, I, need, I need to know you. I need to know her. I need to see if, you know, what's going on. Yeah. You know, we can put this together. Yeah. So, yeah, 
So it's, it's sort of the same. Okay. Yeah. Now let me ask you. I'm gonna. We're sort of switching gears, um, just a little bit. Um, okay. I heard. So when I was listening to you and Michelle, um, you were talking about. You guys were kind of going back and forth, and you were talking about. Um, uh, uh, I, and maybe if I t- if I've taken it out of context, just correct me, but. Um, it, was, it was something about, like, you know, um, you thought that a woman, a sub, could have two doms. Or, you know, or there's, like, I guess diff- just different avenues and things like that. I, it, is that, do you think that? Do you think that, like, a... No, no, I was, I, my position is a sub cannot serve two doms. Okay. Um. I gotta re- I, I gotta remember the conversation I had with Michelle, I'm, but I don't think a, a submissive. I may have taken it out of context. I mean, I'm just I no, was I was listening, no, and that's why I'm that's why I'm asking you because I was I zeroed in on that. I was like, I'm just so curious about that. I mean, you know. So go ahead. I'm sorry. No, you're good. No, 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 you're good. No, I don't believe um, a sub can serve two dimes now. I do think that a dom can seek another dom's advice on training, you know, his sub mm-hmm. or getting mm-hmm. information, things like that. But I wouldn't make that a joint venture. Yeah. Now, maybe like maybe it was venture. more in the context of, um, I think, you know, because you guys, I know you guys were discussing a lot about polyamory and just, <laughs> you know, there's, you know, as you and I know, there's just so many different <laughs> ways to slice and dice this. Um, and, and people are defining things so much differently. But um, so if you have, let's say, um, if your submissive is allowed to, you know, uh, I think because and even actually you and Lady J were talking about this. So if you as a dom, so if you have, you know, diff- if you go and play or whatever on the side and then. Um, you know, and then, and then maybe the submissive is allowed to do that too. Um, and so do you, what, what, I guess, what do you think if you have a, if you have a submissive and you are allowed and you want to be able to play on the side, is she allowed to play on the side? Well, that depends on what kind of dynamic that you guys have. Yeah. So, uh, some people, uh, guys, some guys get into this just because they're cheaters. Okay, let me just start. Let me just start out flat right there. Some some guys get into this because they're cheaters and they just want to have sex with multiple women. That's really it. There you go. Let's nail right. it on the head. Hit the nail on the head. Just go for it. <laughs> that's, that's it, right? And, and, and women... Um, it, it depends on what kind of woman that you're dealing with. Um, I can I could basically be involved in any kind of as a single man, you in a polyamorous relationship. You do you might be dealing with a woman you're talking to. You don't know how many lovers she has or anything like yeah. that. You haven't gotten to that point yet. So everybody starts some kind of polyamorous at at some point when you're out here just dating. So you just take it to a like, you just taking that relationship to a deeper level. Like, mm-hmm. uh, we doing some things differently and on a deeper level, but we still maintain our, our physical practices. And it's challenging to today's you know the the relationship dynamic that we've all been raised under um, because it always gets into like a very possessive game. So it gets into like, that's mine, that's my pussy, you know, that's yeah. me. And so it's like this fear of losing something. And or it's the fear of something being pure or not tampered with, which is, you know, some real mind fucking that they've um, really gave and given us over the years to be actually, you know, that jealous. But um, I was talking to a young lady, for an example, which is a good friend of mine, and she was like, well, you know, my sexuality is so off the hook that I can't control it. So how am I going to get with somebody and they control it? Mm. She's like, that don't really make sense. Like, I do what I do, he do what he do. 
when we together, we together, when we not together, we not together, and it's cool, but we look out for each other. We call each other boyfriend and girlfriend. I'm like, whatever it make, whatever works for you. But yeah. people are accepting those kind of dynamics. And she even said it. She's like, you know, even, you know, through some bad relationships both of us have been through, this is the kind of relationship that benefits both of us. And it's like, I, you know, what can you say when two people are working it out? Yeah. They're making it work. Sure. It all depends on how you... You know, you see relationships, but I think polyamory is great. I've, you know, I've been around polyamory couples. I've been in parties and seen the husband have two girlfriends and his wife there and in the house and, you know, the wife has her boyfriend there. You know, it was all good. So it depends on who you are. Said this lifestyle seems like it's just providing guys with a way of just being cheaters really mm. uh, yeah. two girls two girls two girls two girls yeah. but uh, women or how do these women benefit from interacting with you for, yeah, I mean, if, all you, yeah. if all you're going to do is have sex with them so would be sensible to actually try to get to know somebody and see if you can advance their piece on the chessboard some kind of way you know Yeah. Uh, if I can't add any value to your life you know what the hell one of the things that you and I have in is that we benefit each other. We have great conversations. Yeah. We get to learn things about the opposite sex. We get to learn things about the lifestyle. You know, you help me with resources, you know, like get my podcast started. Yeah. All those things mm-hmm. is, is a very nurturing relationship that most people just are not having. I have to say most people are that I know of are not in very nurturing Mm-hmm. relationships I know a lot of people that are in, you know I do know quite a few people I'm sorry that are in very nice harmonious kind of relationships no matter what the dynamic is but yeah. that uh that that that's a that's a deeper thing people have to be themselves you know that's my thing people have to be themselves and you can live it however you want to live it yeah you know like I, I'm recently I'm recently I'm recently just coming to grips with who I am is not a traditional relationship guy. No matter if they say they accept, you know, BDSM or not. And that's not their fault for wanting to try to have a relationship with me. It's not their fault. But I need to be uh, traveling, working, traveling, and dating freely however I want. And I don't... And I work so much and I have so much going on that I can't date often. So when I do, it needs to be quality. If I'm going to yeah. deal with somebody, yeah. like at this point, I need to deal with them on my terms. Mm-hmm. And I think it's only fair that I, will, I want to have positive interactions with people. Yes. You know, I think it's fair. Yeah. Because a lot of people know how to handle their own BS, right? I understand you're having a bad day or you got some stuff. You know, me too. Everybody does. Yeah. <laughs> but sometimes you gotta hold the line. Sure. Yeah. Jeez. I know. Hey, I got a quick question for you. Sure. Uh, one of the one of the things I'm always really interested about is people's point of view on jealousy. Because I like I think that that word gets just such a negative bad rap. But I'm I'm curious as to you know your. Uh, point of view on that. So you said, you said jealousy. Jealousy, huh? yeah. I mean, like you know, what do you do? What do you think about that? Before I tell you that, you might hear in the video on the playback that I'm rolling my my uh, my pinwheel across my skin. Across my <laughs> I've heard. But I'm like, what is that? Because I told you my microphone's really sensitive. It picks yeah, up. Really the- I think I can hear it in the background. Like, oh man, she can hear this. Yeah. So it's this is my. I was looking for a back scratch, and I was like, you know what? I'm get my <laughs> <out."> <laughs> so I'm like, you know, everybody, I'm, I'm used to the pinball uh-huh. myself. So uh-huh. when someone like, ah, that thing hurts, like you, you never put that on yourself. Oh yes, I have. 
Yeah. Oh, yes, oh there you go. There you go. I do, are you putting it under your nipples, though? That's like. <laughs> no, I haven't done that. I'm rolling with my heart. It's not. <laughs> Because you know uh, what, I like to bite. Uh, I like to bite men's nipples. I really do. I just like I, I can't help it. I have to zero in on those nipples. I have to pull them, in. and normally that's not like well received. But I'm like, I can't help it. Yeah, it's, 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 that's a, a it's a sister spot for me, right? So it can make a man get aggressive. I know it does. It does. I'm like, I have to zero in on that, and just I, I want to just. Do that and see what happens. And usually, dominant men like they get like you start doing that, and they're going to get aggressive on you. But I kind of like that too. All right, so I said, "What was your question again?" Oh no, I'm sorry, I just got sidetracked. Um, It was just about the whole jealousy thing, like what your jealousy. Yeah, just uh, you know. um, Let me. I maybe maybe okay. Before I, um, I want to give you my point of view on it. Not to okay. not to sway your opinion, just just to because I'm you know I'm always curious about this because I think people say oh jealous or somebody's jealous and I think that gets a bad rap and just through what I've been you know with my experience of dating you know and seeing multiple men at the same time and having this podcast and then be, you know and then being able to listen to. What the you know what's going on with the other person and blah blah blah, um, you know I don't think for me see I don't think jealousy I don't think jealousy is a bad thing of course I mean nobody wants and I I've I, and I've certainly been I mean like I'll get jealous you know I don't I I don't want nobody wants to think of the person that they like or care about or what you know whatever the and, and whatever the dynamic is that they have feelings for someone else. That's. I think that's natural. I don't. I think that's normal. But it's just. It's really for me more about what your response is. I mean, if you turn into a big old asshole about it, you know, that's 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 when it gets bad. It's just how do you react to that? But I do think like, for, you know, jealousy is natural and normal, and it's okay to express it and say. I feel jealous or whatever, you know, however you want to put it. But it's just then where do you take that? That's where it becomes, that's the, that's where it becomes, it becomes a negative. Okay. Yeah. I think, you know, do people know themselves, you know, and if you know yourself, then you should be comfortable enough. It's just saying who you are. Right. Look, I, but I, so when I talk to females, I'm like, listen, this is who I am, blah, 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 what I do. And um, this is how I interact with people in general. I interact with people every day as yeah. a business, you know, yeah. business wise. And, and I talk to women. This is what I do. And I, but, but it's a lot of women. That's no, something no, like no. it's. So no. that's the thing. I mean, I guess for me, or what I'm talking about is, um, but you know. women have, but women think, women think that just because yeah. you have access, like, oh, that, sure, are, sure, sure, yeah. right? So that's yeah. the difference. That's, that's part of what I see is jealousy. Okay, that's important. Yeah, you know, you know what? I'm not, I'm not, yeah, that's a good point just of like view. You said, I got all this going on here. So you hear me, you hear my podcast, you, this is what I'm about. Okay. So either you can accept that. If you accept it, it's easier to deal with it. If you try to fight it, which means yeah. you're going to try to change me, this is not going to work. Yeah. Love you and all of that, but this is not, this is not yeah. going to work. Like, yeah. I got to be myself. Yeah. And if I can't be myself, then I don't need anything. Because I'd be damned if I'm going to be with somebody and change. Like, change for someone. I've realized that you can change for someone and they still won't be happy. So why the fuck am I changing? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Why am I changing to make you happy? I change and then you're not happy. I'm good. You I know, don't go think. Find yeah. yeah, yeah. You know what? I think um, that's a really, really uh, powerful point because I think you know I know personally, and I'm sure for you too. At this point, right? You go into things and you're and you are saying to somebody straight out of the gate like here's who I am, you know, and you're almost kind of like almost bullet pointing, like, 
these are what I think you would find are my potential flaws, right? You know, because right. as you're dealing with right. the opposite sex, right? For if you're talking to a woman, you're like, you're probably not going to like this, this, and this about me. And, and, and yeah, but, you right, want, let's, let's, right, let's, let's deal with it. Like, let's put it yeah. right out there. Like, I don't, right yeah, I don't want to waste any time. Just here it right. is. And, right. um, and I know, and I, I, I know that even when you do that, you know, obviously I'll say guys because I'm only dealing with guys on the other end of me. They'll say, "Oh no, no, that's not a problem." You know, they, they act like it's no big deal. And but when 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 it gets down to brass tacks, it is a big deal. And 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 then I'm I'm sure I'll be very you know I'll be real you know liberal. I am sure that converse of that for a man is true because women are so much more sensitive to, um, you know, just a, a lot more. <laughs> right there. Like for, for, right. so for me, it's, if I'm saying, yeah, I'm a free spirit, I'm going to see, you know, more than one guy. And if you want to date me or be with me, that's what we're going to do. And, um, it's always like, Oh, that's fine in the beginning. And then, you know, then, you know, it becomes a problem, a big problem. And you, you're like, wait a minute, I said this in the beginning. But, mm-hmm. I, but I can only imagine that for women, it's probably amplified because we're a little bit more emotional. And, you know, mm-hmm. we, 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 we'll we hear something and, and then think, well, I don't know that men, I'm not sure that men necessarily say I can change your mind. Maybe they do, mm-hmm. but I know women do. They're just like, boom. I can, right. I will fix that. I will, you know, I will, yeah. I will change his ways. And, yeah. and that's, I'm sure that's got to be hard and challenging. And, and then you like, you know, kind of going back to our original, just focus on this here was that the whole jealousy thing. And um, I think that bottom line for me is, you know, the, the thought of somebody, you know, the somebody that, that I care about and and have a strong connection with, does the thought of them with someone else necessarily, um, f- you know, <laughs> have a warm, fuzzy feeling? No, but I don't think it. I don't think it's supposed to. That's okay. I mean, it's okay to say, no, that doesn't really like make me feel great. However, I'm not going to react to it in a way that's batshit crazy and and you know and and and, and flap the handle but and, and let me ask myself can i handle this exactly and then right, you, right and you go through and i think and that's a see that's the thing that's fair that's a thing that's fair is for i i don't i think people aren't honest enough to say I'm gonna tr- let me try it and let me see how that feels. And if it feels really bad, there's nothing wrong with coming to the other person saying, you know, this just feels bad. You don't have to explain why, because feelings are so, they're so intangible, right? I mean, why do you know? But, but. Again, it's okay to say, well, that, you know, that just that doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right. And then you can do what you want to do from there. But I think the problem is that a lot of people will, you know, shroud that in all kinds of other behaviors. You know, they're acting up, they're acting bad, they're, they're, you know, they're doing all these other gyrations instead of just kind of point blank bottom lining it and saying, this just doesn't feel good. And I don't know why, and they don't even have to know why, right? But when you, when you, because I'm sure you've been on there receiving out of feeling something where like, oh God, I mean, like, I know, I'll speak for myself where, you know, I'll feel something like, but this just doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't feel, this feels like shit. This <laughs> just right. not feel good. Right, 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 right. And, and, and there's nothing wrong with that. You can just say, mm, I don't know, it doesn't feel good. And let the, and you know, and, and that's not drawing a line in the sand. It's just telling the other person, that's, this is what's coming up for me. And, 
we can deal with it together. Or you can tell me to go to hell and go found sand or whatever. But, you know, instead of like, okay, well, I don't, this doesn't feel good. And then you launch into this, um, you know, uh, aggressive, you know, mm-hmm. like ca- counterproductive attack on that person. Mm-hmm. And that's where your, your relationship starts to fall apart. Mm-hmm. So I would think Personal that. Attacks. Yeah. Definitely with a relationship. Yeah, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. Okay. Let's let's get to the burn my you know what my burning. Like let's get to the big focus. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let you say it. Collar. Yes. The C word. What does it mean? Fuck. What does it mean? What does it, uh, what does it do? What does it mean? Where am I at? Oh, thank you. Yes, where, yes. Keep going. Keep going. How many levels have I gone further down or am I just in limbo? What's Holy going on? shit. Yes. I was not expecting the guy. I was expecting it, but oh my God, it's here. <laughs> oh my God. Are, uh, are you me? <laughs> Are you in the male version of me? Jesus. Yes. Here you go. You. I already know. <laughs> you just. It's a nice thing, isn't it? You don't, you don't have to say. I, I don't have to say anything. You just said it for me. I just said it for you, right? There you go. <laughs> you did. Thank you. Thank you for taking how's, the load. Thank you. Oh, you're so not. How's it feel? How, how am I it's feeling? Like, I said, how's it feel? How did it feel the moment? The moment you saw it, how did it feel? How about that? Um, it was, it was in, the, I mean, like in the middle of the act and I didn't have time to react or think, but I was like, oh, I mean, just, it, it did kind of, I don't, I don't want to say totally catch me off guard. Right. But it just was, um, it was hot. It was because, like, hey, it was right in the moment. So it was hot and it was sexual. And I was like, oh, fuck yes. Right. I mean, like, at that, at, just right at that very moment, it was, it was hot. And, um, and then afterwards, you know, then I was like, hmm. Okay. Well. Start setting in. Start it does. <laughs> yes. It's almost like it's almost like this. It's almost like being drunk and getting married in Vegas, and then you're like, "Okay, what did I just do?" <laughs> like, what's oh, this? Man, you you're liking just to get married in Vegas? No, I mean, nice. I know. Okay, maybe that's a bad example, but I'm just, I that's that might be a bad example. I'm just saying, like, you, I, you, you're in the. It's just more. I guess it's more to illustrate that you're in the moment. And you're going with something and and then afterwards and, and not to not to take away from that moment. I mean, I was completely hundred percent there. I'm still hundred percent there. It just then you have that's the feeling side of it. That's going with the current. And then then you have this like afterwards you're like, well shit, like what okay, okay. You know, then then your rational mind starts catching up and clicking in you're like what does this mean (laughs) (laughs) i'd like to know exactly what this means please yeah so that's that's did you ask that question no (laughs) that's a question are you serious I swear to you. I know. I know. Wait, hold on, hold on. Hold Shameful. On. <laughs> I know. I am not saying no. Oh, you didn't even ask. Oh. Oh, boy. Wow. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, just, okay. Uh, hold yes, on. Wait. I have Did to. Did he leave it with you or he just showed it to you? What? Did he leave it with you or did he show it to you? I have it with me. Mm, he gave it to you. Yes. Oh no, he didn't just no no. He, you know, he took it, but no questions asked. He put it on me, <laughs> and he then I took it home. <laughs> I but have. you still never asked any questions. Look at this. I'm okay. 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 Because 
here, I'm gonna say it right. This, 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 this some girls here. I know. I'm, I'm gonna. I, I, I know, and I'm gonna be honest right now, like because, because, um, when it comes to like, I don't know, like sometimes when it comes to he- like heavy shit, and it can, it may not be heavy shit. If my it's if it's my perception of heavy shit, mm-hmm. I won't like it. I won't just j- jump right into the middle of it. You know, I'm like. Okay, I, I'd rather I'd rather retreat, regroup, and then maybe mm-hmm. sort of um, nibble around the edges of what just the fuck happened. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. So there we go. That's <sighs> I know. Okay. Well, this is another pretty cow. <laughs> You've seen a picture of it. Yes, I have. Very well thought out. Uh, that was made like the actual the uh-huh. collar part. He made that. That I mean, he made it out. himself. He, yeah, made that. He took he took time to do that. No shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you didn't ask any questions. How did that happen? <sighs> oh shit! Can't crack it in your head. You didn't ask. Huh? What? What does this mean? Oh God! Uh, Is this? Oh no! See now you're making me feel bad. No, it's not. It's not a. It's not a thing you got to feel bad about. It's nothing like you should have asked him anything. I'm saying for yourself. I'm curious as hell. I know. Yeah, I'm talking for yourself. You gotta ask. You I, gotta ask. I know. I will. Mm-hmm. I know. You. I know. I know. I mean, this is. <laughs> I like talking to you. Isn't that funny? I like this. This shit happens. I'm like, I'm running to you. I'm like, what does this mean? <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm totally like, I don't now know. Now you're guessing on your own. Get that. That's bad. What am I doing? You're guessing on your own. You know, you should have asked. You just, you, you, I know. He, you really, he want to define it. You're running from, you're running from definition. I'm letting you know that. I am. I am. I am. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Which, um, yeah, it's a, I mean, it's a chicken chip move. I mean, I am. Mm-hmm. Well, you better ask him for it. You didn't think it was going to come like that. But if it mean, you know, let's go a little deeper. Okay. You know, it could mean that. It, it it might not mean what some people fantasize that it is, romanticize it as. You know, it could just mean it's a little deeper level of, of you know, DNS, a little more ownership of you. Uh, for sure, a little more owner. For sure, is a sign of more ownership of you. <clears throat> yeah. But um, y'all don't see each other regularly anyway, so. You know, it was very symbolic, and uh, it was very nice. It was a very nice touch that he actually um, did it himself. That's very nice. That's not something that uh, the something you know. And women are big one. Is it uniquely to me? And you know, oh, that that does. No, this is for you. So that means you're special. So that's good. Yeah. It's not like you bought it off the internet. Like this is you know. I mean, they got some nice stuff, but. If you want to give a sub a collar, you better, it better be nice or unique. You can't be something that everybody else can just buy out of, off the shelf. And no, no, I mean no. That was that was like <laughs> that was cu- you know <laughs> custom so made for me. <laughs> Certainly not there, but that's good though. I'm just saying it's, it's all good. But you need to uh, go ahead and ask. Mm. How many, just ask how many levels deeper are we now? I don't know. Oh, God. Oh, you're scared. You're I am. I am. I get, get so queer. Fuck, I get so queer about this shit. I don't know why. I mean, like this, this is, this, this is my, this is my stumbling stuff. This is where I just go like, blah, 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 blah. I fall all over you, myself. Like, you know. you, and you've been asking for it. Have you've I? You've been asking for it. How, how, now, you, now you have a response. How have I been at? How so? You've been asking for him to define. I heard you say before in another podcast, oh, he hasn't defined it really. I'm like, okay. 
Now he's now that's a big bam. Mm-hmm. That's a big that's a big that's a big card to hit the table. <clears throat> yes, and I you know what's really interesting is um when uh, you're saying that so this is like a normal pattern for me when I get um like into like really deep stuff like I can right now like my throat gets tighter mm. and it's almost like a um like a feeling of like the walls are coming in kind of like a what do you call that when you're like in a cramped space um what what do we call that yeah 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 yeah. a little bit not i mean and again that doesn't have anything to do with him it's just like that's me reacting to thinking about having to have a conversation Mm -hmm. Like seriously, like I, I it's this is gonna sound gross, but like like right now like the mucus is kind of building up in my throat. Like I'm just like <clears throat> like I wanna clear it out, clear it out. Yeah. Um and that's been my that's a normal again, doesn't have anything to do with him because I, I've had this reaction in vanilla relationships, you know, I've just like somebody has a certain point and I'm like, Oh boy, you know, and I just get right. like, oh, whoo, whoo. And, um, but that's good because actually, you know, I need, I need to just ask and say, well, what the, what does this mean? Okay. Let's talk about this. I don't need to be, I don't need to be a little emotional chicken shit anymore. And and I don't want to be. And I, I, I just, yeah, I'm, I'm actually more curious to know what the answer is. I don't know what the answer is and I don't have any pre, you know, you know, pre disposed ideas about it. Mm -hmm. I just want to. it's a general like, tell me what it is. You know, like, what does that right, mean? Yeah. Because I'm not, you know, like as from, and that's why I wanted. <laughs> again, that's why I wanted to ask you. It's like, you know, from a dominant male point of view, a dominance point of view. What, you know, generically, I'm not saying you're applying it to, you know, what, what where he's coming from because you don't know mm-hmm. and nobody knows, but. What does that mean? <laughs> it for, for me, right? Okay, because for you. Mm-hmm. He lets you go home with it. Oh, yeah, he made it for me. Yeah, he's like, right. I have a present really for you. Is. And when I got there, you know, like, this is, here it is. And, uh, yeah. So that's a nice, that's a, like I told you before, it's very nice. And I just think he's giving you a, a little strong token of his affection. Uh, I can't say for sure if it means something real, real heavy, but I mean, it definitely means that you are dear to him and he took time to show you that. So, you know, if, to me, if everything is going great, you know, don't rock the boat, you know, keep it going, keep your eyes open, you know, keep your ears open. He's going to tell a story about it soon. But uh, you can ask him a couple of questions, though. It's cool to ask a couple of questions. You know? Yeah. Like, okay, with this collar comes expectations. What, what are the expectations that go with this collar? Yes. Because the collars do have a level. They come with a level oh, of expectations. Uh, you just need to understand what the expectations are. Yeah. I mean, you know, the, uh, this was hand. This was made for handmade for me by him. Mm-hmm. There's got you know there's something there's some sentiment behind it. What what and again I'm not trying to say it's a, you know I don't sentiment could be it's a generic term. Where where is that I don't know, but I think yes I would like to know. <laughs> I would like to know what this means. <gasps> what does this mean? I know. Yeah yeah and I'll I'll say this you know not. Just speaking for myself, like I had no idea. Obviously, never had that. That's just, this is the first time like that's ever happened. And um, I, I mean, I just like I love it. I mean, it's like it's so cool. And and I don't know. It just it it. 
oh, I say this, it just, it feels like, it, it just, it feels good. Uh, and, and not, I mean, you know, you don't, from, from, from a kind of more of a traditional, I guess, a tra- I guess to say a traditional woman like myself, just, you know, getting something, you know, who can, who can kind of walk in a store and, you know, in most of the stores that let's just say that a lot of, you know, if you're talking about Cartier, Tiffany's, um, which is all, you know, pick a brand, pick a brand name. I can walk into a store and buy myself a piece of jewelry out of there, a nice piece of jewelry. Mm. And, but to have something like this, it's different. It's, Mm. it's a different level. It's a very, um, I don't know. It's just not what, it's not what I expected, but it's better than that. Yeah, he pulls you in, and then he allows you to take it home with you, and then you can think about it a little bit, y'all, and you guys will discuss it. But, I mean, you know, the level of expectation or responsibility is probably be up if you really truly, you know, verbally, you verbally accept it all the way. And you just want to know what, what those things are. And that's a good thing. It shows that y'all have some progression in your relationship. That's good. Yeah, it's just, it, so I'm curious. <laughs> I know. <and> I need, <laughs> yeah, you guys are far from the, oh, we go to the movies every Friday night. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. We've been there for 20 years. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, but, yeah. but um, anyway, so, so, yeah, so I, like, that's my new thing. Like, oh, my God, I just, like, and it's so funny because when I first started doing this, um, when I first, you know, just because basically kind of, I guess, like I said, you know, started on that sexual road trip and started, you know, being the quote unquote, the curious girl. Um, the, one of the first guys I saw, I first, you know, saw at some one point, he said something like, um, I'm going to like get you this, like, diamond collar for Christmas and I was like what, what the fuck is that collar when I heard saw the word collar I was like what the fuck is that about and he's like well then you know everyone's gonna know that you're that you're mine and I was just like fuck you like right. that was my I mean like you know I was just kind of like I put off by it you know I'm like right. and because I didn't because I was just starting into this and because I didn't have that same, you know, connection with him. I will say to his credit, he did see, I had a connection with him. I don't want to diminish that, but just for some reason the the whole dominant thing didn't, didn't resonate with him. He saw, he did to his credit, he did see this, some of the submissive things in me and he was the first to point those out and and I bucked against that. I was just like, I don't know like who you think you're talking to, but uh-uh. you know, like I don't know where you're getting this shit. And then and 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 you know, and and he and I still we're, we're st- we still talk, but um I didn't end like I didn't end up having that type of dynamic and it took, you know, it just took somebody, I guess, different to really kind of be a better, I want to say like, the one thing I'll say about Cowboy Inn is like, it's like, and I'm sure this is probably common with most really, really dominant men. He's kind of like, I call it like a handler, a handler, you know, like you have this crazy whatever, woman, dog, animal, horse, you know, however you want to call it. And you, you sort of like, you're just studying, you're seeing their ways and you are, you're like, yep, I can, I can handle this. Like I can, I know how to calm that wildness or whatever it is. Right. And, um, he's the only one that's been able to do it. Wow. Because I never, because he didn't come at me going, 
Yeah. <laughs> it just, uh, yeah. right? It naturally kind of happens, right? I mean, right. Yeah. you know, like someone's on your frequency, like other, like it's a radio channel and they're just tuned in and you're tuned into them. And I don't know, it kind of transpires back and forth. But that's, yeah, that's kind of how you can, don't you think, I mean, can you really just come at somebody with a full frontal assault? I don't, that doesn't work, does it? No, it doesn't work. I mean, you know, a lot of these phonies do. You know, that doesn't work. You you have to take your time to get yeah. to somebody. Yeah. You have to take your time. And these people are just rushing. The, the women are rushing, the men are rushing, and it's a, just a mess. Don't it's you think, don't you think those men that are, they're not true, they're, they're not masters. Like, this is a. No, they're gangsters. They're king. Is that what they are? Okay. That's- yeah, they just really, they just really want to have sex. They don't really, <laughs> it's just whatever it is. It's like, it's just, you know. Can we blame way. them? Can we really yeah. blame them? Yeah. Uh, it's, Men want to have sex. sex. We get it, right? <laughs> well, oh, you want a man that's going to choke you and talk to great, talk crazy to you? Okay, uh-huh. yeah. yeah. I got that. I can sure. do that. Whatever. Sure. Ooh, right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. But, that's, but, but, let's talk about, let's, Right now, this is a really good point. Let's define the difference. Because women are going to pick up on it without, I mean, uh, uh, without knowing the clear definition. But there is a very distinct difference. What is it? Difference between doms? Between kinksters and true doms. Oh, kingsters and true doms. Kingsters just want sex and freaky sex. And they only really want their freaky sex because that's what women are into now. Yeah. You know, women and sex controls everything. Mm-hmm. And, and what women are into, men get into that. If that's what women are, women over there, I'm going over there. Um, this guy I can't remember, this author, he, he wrote a book called Who Moved My Cheese? Oh, you know who stole my cheese? Who, who stole my cheese? That's a bit. Who's, yes, yes. It's one of the. I think every business person book. reads it. Yes, yes. Right. Who moved right. my cheese? And yeah. Who oh. moved my cheese? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, and yep. you know, so the pussy is like the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute! Wait a minute! Can I? I gotta stop you for one second. I read. You know, <clears throat> I told you in my very, very. You know, beginning of my uh, business career, it was I was in you know formal traditional like co- companies, and and as a sales rep, uh, you read that book. Everybody read that book, and so like for you to bring that up, but now we're we're equating it to sex. That's hilarious. So go ahead. So, <laughs> oh, so it's just like that, right? <laughs> yeah. It's sad. It's sad, right? Guys just want to have sex. Because w- women, women submissives so need to understand. <laughs> I'm going to see, you know what I'm going to do? Right. I'm going to actually, I have, I've got to like take a picture of a big, big piece that, of right? cheese right in front of my crotch. Yeah. I'm going to take a picture yeah. and send it to you. Like, and then yes. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write the caption in, who hey, my cheese? <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. That's hilarious. Go, <laughs> Go ahead. But it's a reference, right? Because that's the, like, a guy once told me, yeah. he said, man, women, women can rule the world. Yeah. He said, he said, you know why? He said, because they have half the money on all the pussy. Uh-huh. Said, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. If only they knew. If only you guys knew how much power you guys have. But, um. So I say that to say that you're gonna meet a lot of a lot of guys that oh I'm a dime and get on your knees I'm gonna put a collar around you drag you around the house and like all that type of stuff that's yeah. what they think that's the that's the manuscript that they the fake manuscript they have out here but when you meet a true dominant he doesn't want to be your dominant he wants to get to know you first and then y'all get in then then you two can get into something a little more deeper. But for the most part, a dominant wants to get to know the submissive first. Because just because she says she herself don't mean she's good for training. You know, and you might not even want to take her that far because the stuff can get a little deep, as you know, and real personal. Yeah. So if, it, if it's just about sex, you don't want to take that no further. Matter of fact, if it's just about sex, you don't like going. 
even play with you with some of this stuff. Yeah. This, this, this stuff is heavy. Yeah. No. And yeah. and also a son needs to know if a guy, if a if a dominant or a dom is not teaching you anything, then you're in the wrong position. You you you're you're with the wrong person. Get away from because a dominant is the one that teaches and protects. You know, it, that, that's all you got to know. If he doesn't show interest in you, like he care that he wants to help you with with something and your, your mindset being a positive force in your life, then you got to get rid of him. That right there, I think, is worth th- that right there is worth this whole podcast that point of view right there that's what people both sides whether you know whether you're a submissive or a dominant that right there is gold i mean you you i had a quote uh i have a meme that i got today i think i posted it but at any rate, it, it was really. Oh, I, is that the one? I think I saw it. Is that the one that said, um, um, uh, "Hold on, the leadership is not about being in charge. It, leadership is nah. about taking care of those in your charge." charge. Right. That's yes. That's, that's that's what it's all about. Like a, a lot of what is not being shown is that the dominant is also a nurturing to be a dominant you're a nurturer as well and so yeah. all these, if, if a guy isn't a true nurturer yeah more, more than likely you, you're you know you're only going to grow but so far a person that is not into you to the point or, or into themselves to the point where mentally they're expansive enough to open you up you only gonna go a certain distance. You just have to be honest with what you're dealing with. Sometimes women fool themselves by getting themselves emotionally involved with some dude that they know he only, you know, they know that the ceiling is right there, the head is right, right now, and they know they need to get out of it. But they lock themselves in on some fakeness. But in the end, you're gonna always seek to grow, and and with someone who can help you grow, and yeah. that's what he's doing for you, and, and that's the attraction that you have for him. It's just that. He's, he was able, after all this time, to be able to appeal to a side of you that you, like, locked away. As a matter of fact, you haven't really thought about it since you was in your early 20s. It wasn't relevant, you know, like that, That had, like I told you, having that thought process 24-7 will hurt you. It'll get you nowhere in this life. So yeah. you've learned how to tuck it and, and have some success with the other side. But it's all about balance. It's putting it together like, okay, I need this then, and I need this now. Like you was just saying to your, your uh, to the to the young lady that wrote you that question. It's about having that balance. Yeah. It's about having that balance. And then a dominant will come along, and with all that load that you have on your shoulders, he just, he just takes that off your shoulders for a minute and say it's okay not to think about it. You know, make you think about something different. Mm-hmm. Make, you, make you want different things. And, and that's what a submissive does too. It's a, a submissive igniting, whereas like he gets excited, like, oh man, great. I, I finally got a nice blank piece of canvas. I can work with this. And now I'm a molder into something really nice. And we reach down to some of them dark places and, you know, really explore that. And, you know, see, you know, some, some doors need to be kept locked, but, you know, Let's reach in some of them places, man, and bring out the best of each other. I that's know. Yes. Yes, yes, bring yes. Bring the best of each other. I know. That's... <laughs> the mundane is not fun. I'm sorry. It's not... <laughs> the, the mundane can be necessary, but it's, it's, it's not fun. Yeah. It's not meant to be fun for us mundane. Yeah. But mundane things are things that keep our feet on the ground instead of we don't fly off into space, but... You know, there's parts of my life that's very um, systematic. You know, yeah. all my business, all my whole life, my business, you know, my business life. And, you know, when you have a, a child mm-hmm. that's in grade school, uh, it's challenging because, you know, you have a routine. But my personal life, I like my personal life open. Mm-hmm. I, like it, I like it open and spicy and I and I particular and in particular 
because of the lifestyle, because of all the information that I have, the people I've met, I really think it is my position to be out here engaging people for, for a good cause, like building with you, talking to this young lady about her, her being yeah. absent and get back into the life. And all. Yeah. Like all this stuff is really good for me, you know? And like, I guess I would have to like them to my friend and say well, her sexuality is such so expansive. She can't control it. So I put somebody else. And I think I'm the same way. You know, my passion for this lifestyle and relationships in general is to a point where I'm probably never going to relate to just one person on a regular basis. Like yeah. people need people need me mm-hmm. to be and to be in a lot. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And I'm just one of them glue, I'm just one of the glue people. And yeah. so I'm sure you're one of the glue people like us, stronger personality people like that that have a kind of fair mindset or the glue. And so we attract more. More gonna come our way. You know, yeah. and then if you have some expansive taste, I mean I gotta eat at the buffet. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what, it won't be old country buffet. It, it'll be the buffet of the four seasons. <laughs> Oh my god! We can do the the buffet at the brunch at the Four Seasons. Yes, I'm not going. I'm not going to eat for old country buffet. I promise (laughs) you, I won't. I promise you, I won't. I'm you know be over here. Yeah, that's great. The seasons get you know. Yeah. (laughs) I love it. I love it. At least to hide it. At least to hide it. Yeah. Yeah. That's twenty five dollar brunch for me. At least the high, but I won't take the old country buffet. I promise you, I'm not going to take the old country. Well, you have to go. You know, what you have to do. You need to be traveling more, and you have to go around the world, and you just have to just like experience it all over, and then. Listen, yeah. I can't wait to. Ah, so, my friends have really bombed out on going to Brazil. <gasps> So I Why? think I'm going to go to Brazil by myself. What? Right. When? Yeah. When are you going? Let's yes, see. In J- July. In July. Let's. What, in wait July. a minute. Hold on. Hold on. What about going? Have you ever been to Spain? Let's go to Spain. Let's. I have. I always wanted to go to Spain. Oh, okay. Let's rendezvous in Spain and do a it's podcast face to face. Yeah, let's do that. Yo, listen. I swear to do- God. Right listen, now, can, we are listen. live. We're gonna we're gonna do it. <clears throat> can do Dubai too. Oh, Dubai! Yes, I've oh, okay. Yeah, I've Dubai. always wanted to go to Dubai, yeah. Dubai, but um, Brazil. Could this, wait, hold on. Brazil. Spain. Are they? There's they speak Portuguese in Brazil, right? Speak Portuguese in Brazil. Yes. yes. Okay. Um. So uh, I watch a so. My Spanish is really good. And so what I'll yeah. just, we're, we're getting off of the sidebar here, but my Spanish is really good. And so I watch, um, I'll watch just to keep it, you know, current and fresh. Mm-hmm. I, I watch like s- shows in Spanish. And, mm-hmm. but when, but uh, one of the, one of the current ones that I'm watching that I like really, it's almost, it's a series uh, it's mm-hmm. called El Negocio, and it's actually about prostitution in in Brazil. And mm-hmm. uh, so it's originally done in um, it was originally done in uh, Spanish, and then mm-hmm. they had English subtitles. So I would watch it and, and listen in Spanish. And if for some reason I had to like refer and look look down to the English subtitles, I could. Well, the last the current season I'm on right now, it's straight. Uh, it's straight Portuguese. I don't know what happened. Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck? What? Where's my Where's my Spanish dubbing over it right. so I can just actually watch it and not have to think? Well, right. it got all sideways. But of course now I'm addicted to it, so I have to see what happens. At any rate, and it's about well, prostitution, it's, right? It's about prostitution, which which of course is fascinating to me. Like it's because. You know, uh, not uh, it, it just it's just interesting the whole you know the, their the point of view and perspective and you know like why this is socially unacceptable and you know as uh, obviously I'm doing this right I'm I'm doing this sort of sexual exploration I'm very liberal I'm not a prostitute right. but you know I'm I'm I'm, I'm open I'm open minded yeah. to a lot of things and so I'm so I so I gravitated toward this well now 
I guess, and sorry, and the the long version, the long point of what I'm trying to make here is uh, Portuguese is extremely off the beaten path. It I like it doesn't have a doesn't have a Germanic root, and it doesn't seem to have a Hispanic or a, a Latin root for for the words. For the words, I will watch because I can look, I can reference like the English subtitles to what they're saying. I'm like. Mm-hmm. Um, there is no correlation to Spanish, M- most of French and even German. And like these, like I can, I can put words to, I can put, mm-hmm. you know, a certain percentage of the language yeah. together because I'm, I'm so strong in Spanish. And then I'm like, I'm, all of a sudden the switches over to Portuguese. I'm like, I'm fucked. Anyway, there's, so, so look, <laughs> let's I, meet I in Spain. I got your back. Cause I, I, I speak Spain. Portuguese. No. Yes. Get the fuck out. How did yes. you? Yes. I was married to a Brazilian woman. I've been to Brazil. My daughter is half Brazilian. <gasps> yeah, I've been to Brazil, well, probably like 20 plus times in my life. <gasps> Have you been? Yes, so man. you've been there for Carnival? Oh, I've been, oh my God. I've been oh! There. Before it got all touristy, but I've been there for Carnival. Yeah, I've Damn been it. Carnival. Yeah. Yeah, this is this. Brazil is an amazing, amazing. All place right, all right. You know what we're gonna? Okay, then. Yeah. Okay, hold on now. Then okay. I feel better now. Okay. We will go to. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna spend some mm-hmm. time in Spain. Okay. And then we'll go to Brazil. If I'm with you in Brazil and you understand the language, you have a if you have a handle on it. Fine. Yeah. I'm I mean, not that I wouldn't good. go anyway. But I feel much better now now that I listen, know this. I mean, the, the Spanish you know, when you're there and you're submerged yeah. in the in, in the whole environment, yeah. they'll all come to you. Because there's a lot of people there. So Portuguese is uh we, and I'm, I know we off on a tangent, we'll cut yeah. some of this stuff out. No, I, we don't have to cut it out. I love we're gonna, this. Gonna, we're gonna keep going. Okay, we're gonna keep going. Yeah. All right, so Portuguese is is, is Latin based. But it has Italian, it has a little bit of Italian in it, and it has some Spanish in it. So to me, it's very similar to Spanish. It's just the pronunciation is completely different. The pronunciation is completely different. They don't pronounce H's. If you see double R's, that gives you a different. If you see the N and the H together, that gives Mm -hmm. you a whole different sound. So it sounds completely different but if you had to really read it in front of you and match it up with spanish you would see the correlation okay so Once you understand what may, you know a lot yes. of things is the same and maybe i could read it so phonetically mm-hmm. maybe i could read it better Absolutely i mean could. yeah so yeah. maybe but but the pronunciation is off and I, but, but, but i'm listening because i because i'll tell you i i've i can from watching that show and having it switch over in their fourth season, which I'm very bummed about, but I but I was already addicted, so I had to just keep going. Um, was the um, when I didn't when it was no longer dubbed over in Spanish, the voiceovers were no longer in Spanish, and 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 I had to I had to listen to it in straight Portuguese, but really more mo, uh, more so. I'm just I'm really reading the subtitles, and the English subtitles are you know I'm like and very quickly of course I'm like comparing like that's the word for that and that's the word for that and I, you know I'm like whoa 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 that's t- so different, but it is. But I do agree with you. It is a bit of a. Um, a dialect. And so people that have, like, I'm actually good with dialects, you know, like I can hear, um, I can just hear even, you know, it's interesting. Do you notice that some people can't hear, you know, when they travel to different, even English speaking parts of the world. So let's say Ireland or things like that. Like they can't hear, like they're not good with the dialect. Like they can't listen and hear, um, words. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. How they're the same, how same they words. the same word pronounced differently that phonetic difference. Yes, and 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 people just like get lost in it. But I but I what I have found is that people that speak more than one language, like I do, and 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 quasi like what you do too, is it, mm-hmm. you know you 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 get a um you, you just you you hear it differently than they do, and so you, you can. Hear- you can li- you, you can you can you can understand it. 
Right, because the, the, the biggest challenge, one of the biggest challenges are, and even as you're saying, um, English speaking cultures that aren't American culture. A lot of it is they use the verbs and nouns differently than we do. Like, you know, we use a verb mm-hmm. before a noun mm-hmm. to describe a yeah. beautiful woman. Yes, yes, yes. Like, Yes. Yeah. Beautiful. That's right. A woman. Yes. Yeah. Si es una mujer muy bonita. Right. And, right. and that's like mm-hmm. you're. You, you know. You're a. You're. You're a woman. Very beautiful. Instead of saying you're very. Right. Beautiful. Yes. We do that. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. So so they say un mujer muy bonito. Yeah. Muy bonita. Yeah. 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 I know it's different. I know, and it, like we'll say, um, you know, just um, the door is, you know. Open the door versus right. the door is open. I mean, yeah, it's I know right. it's it's right. like so. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. like you said, once you train your mind to understand that, like once you understand the once you mm-hmm. understand the words that are being said to you, you can figure it out. It's different, but your mind just has yeah. to adjust to reverse in certain words and be like, okay, I get it. Or even the masculine and the feminine. Do you do? You, yes. I mean, did you realize we were doing that? It, do we? It's crazy. It, do we do it's that in English? No, we really don't. Do we that don't. That's like that's a chair. That's a chair. It doesn't have a masculine or a feminine right. form, right? But right. you know, you, or yeah, it's just it's like um. Yeah, they have a lot of a lot of their a lot of their words are just straight gender yeah. based. Yeah, it's gender based. Yeah. Yes, it's gender based. It's really interesting. I know. I know. Yeah, it's it's kind of it's fascinating, but maybe this is the hey, hold on here now. Maybe we're getting on a whole other subject. Maybe this is why, like, mm-hmm. it, we're maybe maybe if you maybe we're open, more open minded because of this. <laughs> <laughs> yes, right. So all right, so let's go back. So so but, well, hold on. Meet. We <laughs> said we're gonna we're gonna meet in another country, which I which I trust me when I say I'm gonna do something, I'm a gamer. I, the, this right, is. Let's do it. I am. I'm a gamer. Yeah. So. And look, Airbnb. <laughs> there are so many beautiful places on Airbnb. Oh, it's ridiculous. I know. Beautiful places on Airbnb. Oh. Yep. We're, yep. We're Before doing we it. Started. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And I've never been to Spain, so I'm, uh, I'll be pumped to go to Spain. I'm speaking <gasps> in Spanish, so I need you. I will be there. Trust me. Don't worry. We're fine. And then we'll go to Brazil. Uh, you know, and and uh, mm-hmm. br- we'll go to yeah, we'll go to Brazil, and then we <laughs> you can guide me through Brazil. I guide you through Spain. You guide Brazil, me through Brazil. Brazil's a rap. Yes, we're gonna wrap it. We're gonna wrap it up on Brazil. I Ooh. love it. Mm. I'm telling. Okay, okay. this is. Can we do this? Like, this is our summer. Can we do this? This is our we're summer quest. Yes, please. Yeah. Yes, please. Yes. I've yes. al- I mean I've always wanted to go to Spain. Yeah, never been. Me too. I've never been either. Let's okay. Pick spot. It's our checklist. Ching ching ching. Yay. We're doing we it. it. Yes. <laughs> yes. I know. Yes, yes. Hey, meet me in Spain, baby. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey, we're world travelers. This is my life. I know. This is what I'm saying. This is my life. This is what I. This is how I got to do it. Bring your scissors. Give me a haircut. <laughs> yeah. And I'll, I'll bring, you know, I'm going to bring, you know, I always travel with my equipment. So that's good. <laughs> right. and, I don't, I, and I don't need anybody telling me no. I need to hear yes. <laughs> I don't mean yeah. yes, girl. Yes. I love oh, it. I can't wait to maybe sit in a cafe and oh. have some breakfast with Shit. you. You know, let you, you order it all up. I'm, I'm going to feel like I'm important. This is the bomb. I'm excited. I, I'm going to bring all my Sir Ink stuff. You know. <laughs> Up, I'm gonna take. Up there, Spain, let them bring me. Oh, do. oh, oh, oh. Okay, you get bring. You know what? I was looking at actually. I was looking at bring bring some of your Sir Ink stuff. Yeah, bring some some t shirts. I noticed that these are all men cut. I will take my scissors. I will cut them, and I'll I'll twist them and wrap them up. And and let's take some sexy pictures in yes. different in different European locales. Yes. Okay. Exactly. Exactly. There we exactly. go. Sir there Inc. is go. traveling the world. Yeah. Traveling the world. This is what we do. Yes. This is what we do. We're not playing. We're not these internet I love trolls it. that don't go anywhere. We, we out here, yo. We out here, y'all. That's we, right. We're hey, the world. We're the Seriously. real deal. Yes. Yes. 
I love it. Okay, it's we're it. we're on record. Like this is agreed on. Because uh, trust me, I don't back down. Like when I say I'm going to do something, yeah. I do it. Okay. There's um, no. We, just got, we got to coordinate these. That's all. I'm telling you, this is no joke. This is the one thing that like, people like that. All my friends that know me and the guys that you know, all the guys on the podcast that I've ever. When, I'm a gamer. When I say when I say yes, I'm going to do something. I just fucking do it. That's it. Right. Like I I'm not I'm not joking about it. So. We're going to make it happen. And then we'll podcast. Oh, fuck. That'll be so yeah. cool. And then we'll podcast it. <laughs> we'll podcast. I love it. Yes. I okay. What? Well, we're going to be eating good. Oh, eating shit. Good. What? Good. Oh, my goodness. Oh. We, well, we, I, I need a fan to fan me. myself right now because that's Ooh. so hot. <laughs> my goodness. I'm burning up. Okay. Right. So, oh, I think this is a great. <laughs> this is yeah, fabulous. We, had a good time. we done went all over the place. I know goodness. it's a good time to so, stop, unless you have right. something, one more thing you want to add or anything. I'm all right, all right, sorry, all right, so I'm gonna okay. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna wrap it up. Okay, we're gonna wrap it up like this. Okay, Go so ahead, wrap talked, it up. Yeah, we talked to your, we talked about, we talked to your friend and her questions. So I would, yep. I would like to say again that she needs to take her time, find herself. In this whole thing, do, is submission really for her? Is kink for her? She needs to come up with that very quick. And uh, and far as you with your collar, it's a very nice thing. And eventually, you'll have to ask some questions to open this thing up and see where you at. But I think it's good. I think it's scary. I think being scared is good. You're alive. Yeah. And, and enjoy the ride. Most of all, just enjoy the ride. Don't. Try not to overthink it too much. Enjoy the ride. You have to think it out. You don't want to be a fool for anyone. I think a lot of our, our defense mechanisms are like, I don't want to be played. I don't want to be a fool. But sometimes, you know, enjoy the ride. Allow, you, allow yourself to enjoy the ride without overthinking it. And, you know, those answers will come straight to you. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, I, and, and, and I got a rendezvous in Spain to do a podcast face to face. That yes. is going to be out. Oh my God. That's going to be off the hook. Fuck yes. I mean, is that it's like, that? Is there anything better than saying we will meet live face to face in? No. Oh, see, come on. We can't, in Spain. We can't top that. No, we can't top that. Yeah. That's, can't top that, that. that is it no. right there. And, right. Yeah, no, but to go back so really quickly to go back to Kara, who we started this this uh, you know uh, podcast with, it really is just and Kara, you know, I'm thank you so much. You waited so patiently. I'm so sorry. It took me a while to get your to you to your um, question. It wasn't intentional. I actually meant to have it on my last one, and um, I goofed it, but. You've been, you now you've been the you've been the you've been the bookend on this podcast. You've been the beginning and the end. And again, just to just to say, like seriously, jump in, girl. Do your thing. Like you know what? It's not going to be perfect. My my entree into changing things up was not perfect. You're going to hit some ding dongs. You're going to find some good ones. But you know, just keep going at it and remember that. I think you're, you're just for men and women, really, your sexuality, that part of you, um, don't deny that. I think, you know, I, I think we've all been as adults guilty of that a, a little bit at some point in our lives. So we're sort of like downplaying or subduing it or whatever. It's so important. It, I mean, you know, look at all the doors, look at all the things that relationships, the connections that that's open for me. Go for it. Go for it. And, yes. and don't be, you know what, if you hit a closed door, that's fine. Move forward to another door that's open. Just don't deny that part of you because as a human being on a very basic core level, your sexuality is so extremely important. I think the more you're in touch with that and the more you know about that side of yourself, the better you're going to be in all aspects of your life. I really do. Do you do you th- do you agree with me? I agree with you 100%. Don't you? I mean, don't you think like Absolutely. I kind of feel like when we start turning that off, 
as I have, and I've been killed, I've done it. Mm-hmm. It's just, you, like, you don't realize how many other areas of your life sort of suffer or are changed by that decision. And when you turn that, when you've turned it off and turn that light, turn it back on, you just go, whoa, wow. I mean, I really, I really did myself a disservice. So, Kara, don't do yourself a disservice any longer. Please get yourself out there. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Come on, girl. <laughs> yeah, go on, girl. Get your submissive on. Get it on. Get, yeah, get your submissive yeah. on. I love it. Oh, hey, there's I, a. I, oh shit, there's a there's something you can brand right there. Get your submissive on. Come on. Get your submissive on. Get your get submissive, submissive on, Sir Inc. Get your, Boom. Get your, you got to label that. That's yours. I'm, Take it. I'm it. I'm Tag it. it. No, seriously. Let me, put that down. Let me put that down on my phone right put now. Put it down right now. Yes, I'm putting it down. Get, right now. That should be part of your branding. Get your submissive on. This is one. I am doing that. You know, you already know that's what I'm going to do. That is beautiful. And 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 then you can do the converse of that, like get your dom on or whatever you want to call it. Like, I like it, Sir Inc. Get your submissive just, on. Get your dom get, on. Boom. Yeah, get your dom on. Get your submissive on. Perfect. Yes. All right. Yes. yes. I think on that note. I, I don't think right. we, we cannot end it any more perfect than that. So okay. with that, we will stop this. Po- we'll, we'll end our podcast. But again, before I do, I want to tell, you know, the Karas of the world and then the, and then the, the converse male Karas of the world, like where they can find you. They can find me on Facebook, kinkspace.net. Instagram and on Twitter as Sir I N Q on all of those. And on Twitter is Sir I N Q O Nine. And uh and I can always be reached at Sir Inc with a Q at Sir Inc dot com. Perfect. You. There we go. All right. Well thanks everyone and uh Keep listening. We're gonna. I'll be wrapping up this year, and hopefully, it'll be. Uh, well, I will. I won't wrap it up before I have my podcast with Sir Inc. in another country. There we yes, go. Yes, we have to do that. <laughs> All right. Gonna, you know what? And that is going to end my first season right there. Oh yes. Yes. That's Fuck gonna yes. That's what gonna Thanks so much for listening. And if you like what you hear, refer me to a friend, and make sure you're following me on social media. Also, go to the website, thecuriousgirldiaries.com, and join my subscribers-only list for access to exclusive content. And as usual, questions or comments, you can always email me at curiousgirl at thecuriousgirldiaries.com. 